the top 5 highest priced music videos ever produced. Number 5. What's it gonna be? The music video for the song was directed by Hype Williams on March 12, 1999. It is the top 5 most expensive videos ever made, costing upwards of $2 million, and focused largely on special effects. The video begins with a glass of a silver liquid moving toward the edge of its resting area, which spills and transforms into Busta Rhymes as a knight in shining armor and begins rapping. Jackson is portrayed as a dominatrix, in a purple latex suit adorned with rings, nail piercings, and bearing her cleavage. Number 4. Heartbreaker by Mariah Carey The accompanying music video for Heartbreaker, directed by Brett Ratner, is the top four most expensive ever made, costing over $2.5 million. The video features Carrie and her friends visiting a film theater and catching her boyfriend, played by Jerry O'Connell, on a date with another woman. Carrie played herself and a brunette villainess named Bianca Storm, during a physical altercation scene between the two women. Due to contractual agreements at the time of its filming, Jay-Z was unable to make an appearance in the original music video, though he would appear in a recut version soon after. The video was inspired by several other films, including Grease, Scarface, and Enter the Dragon. Number 3. Victory by Puff Daddy The music video for the song was directed by Marcus Nispel on March 31, 1998, although he was supposed to remain anonymous at the time of premiere and is in homage to The Running Man. The almost eight-minute long video featured cameos from Dennis Hopper as a New World Order dictator, President Victor Castiglione, and Danny DeVito as a live-action reporter. English socialites Tamara Beckwith and Tara Palmer Tompkinson were also in the video. Hopper and DeVito reportedly appeared in the video pro bono as a favor to Combs. The production costs ran upwards of $2,700,000. It is listed as the top three most expensive music videos ever made. Number 2. Die Another Day by Madonna The music video was directed by Tractor, and was developed as an independent video from the film but contained Bond influences. It depicts Madonna as a prisoner in a torture chamber, alternating with scenes of a fencing duel between good and evil personas of the singer. Wounds inflicted on both fencers are mirrored on the imprisoned Madonna, and in the end she escapes being electrocuted in the chamber. The usage of Jewish religious texts and objects in the music video led to controversy, with scholars of Judaism deeming it sacrilegious. Madonna has included the song on two of her world tours, the first being the 2004 Reinvention World Tour and again as a video interlude on the 2008-2009 Sticky and Sweet Tour. It is the top two most expensive music videos ever made. Its estimated cost is $6 million. Number 1. Scream by Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson At a cost of $7 million, it was listed in the Guinness World Records as the most expensive music video ever made. However, director Mark Romanek who directed this has refuted the claim, saying that there were two other music videos from the same era which cost millions more than the video for Scream. Scream is the lead single from Michael Jackson's ninth studio album, History, Past, Present and Future, Book 1, 1995. It is a duet with his younger sister Janet, and was released as a double A side with Childhood, a solo song by Michael. The single was released on May 29, 1995.